Hey y'all, it's Aaliyah. In this video, I'm going to be drawing a pier. This is a greeting card in a set for a cousin of mine, which explains the size. Now, what I'm doing right here is I'm just trying my hardest to draw straight lines. I'm trying to draw the planks on the floor. And I actually end up giving up freehanding them uh, which may have been cheating but you know to get perfectly straight lines you have to have a little help so I went in search of a ruler and actually found one on my brother's desk these lines ended up getting ridiculously close at the end and I ended up having to change the end of the pier because the lines were just so crowded because perspective this was I kept asking myself why do I love to torture myself because doing wood grain in on something this tiny is difficult and I chose something with I chose to draw a picture that has a lot of wood grain in it. So I'm just refining my sketch a little bit, um, which is difficult to do on a, a scale this small. And then I'm going in and Sketching in some clouds, which ended up taking an entirely different shape than what they started out to be. Started out being. I, there was a lot of erasing involved in this one. I actually grabbed this, which is my electric eraser, and erased the entire bottom half and re-sketched them because I didn't like the way they were looking the first time and then I ended up not even following this sketch so I could have saved myself some time by omitting the sketch and just winging it like I end up doing anyway So I grabbed my kneaded eraser once I was happy with my sketch and rolled it into a barrel shape and then rolled it over the entire thing because I'm going to be using some fairly light colors and I don't want the graphite muddying my colors, which happens especially when you use yellow, which appears a lot in this piece. And wow, this is a really jerky clip. But I'm testing myself, drawing the wood grain here. And then, boom, I was happy with it, and now it's done. Halfway. can tell how much I use this black pencil. You can't even see the end of it. This thing is probably no more than an inch and a quarter long. It's a tiny little pencil.
So about right here is when things start getting iffy for me. Um, and that's because the closer that I got to the end, the darker and blacker the floor got. And I was... I didn't love it. Because I'm doing, you know, trying to draw in the planks with that black pencil. No matter how sharp you get your... the tip of your pencil, it's still not going to be sharp enough to get those teensy tiny little lines that you would need. The floor of my pier was way too cold. It was too gray, too drab, too cold. So I took, I believe the pencil was the color sand from my Prismacolor Premiere set and just gave it a little, warmed it up a bit. And then... The longer that I did it and the closer I got to the end, everything started turning green because it was mixing with the black. And the black has a little bit of a blue pigment to it. So it was mixing with that and turning everything a greenish color. So I took a red to try to cancel, cancel out the green. And it actually worked really well. And here is where I decided, or I realized, not decided, I realized that I had lost a lot of the texture, the wood grain texture that I had, bef that I'd had before I added in the yellow and the red. So I got my mechanical pencil, and this worked a whole lot better than I thought it was going to. I took my mechanical pencil and just drew on top of the colored pencil to give it that lined texture that wood has. So I'm trying to lighten up the end of the pier and then decided it's way too dark. So I got my electric eraser and said goodbye to the entire part of the, walk, the, the boardwalk or that part of the pier and redid it in lighter colors and did not put the black outline around planks this time and it worked so much better uh just kind of filling it in and then adding thin lines and blending it together it it turned out much better and I like it a lot better than I did before here it doesn't look like it's going to blend with the rest of it but once I took the mechanical pencil and added in those lines it and 
took some French grey and gave it some highlights, it blended pretty well. And I just finished the end there. And then I started on the posts, and these were interesting to work on. Um, but I only do this much on camera, and then all of a sudden, boom, the rest of them are done. And here I almost made a big mistake. I almost forgot to do the foreground before doing the background. So I quickly switched over to my green, my greens, and started drawing in the foliage, the bushes, in front of, or beside of the pier. These were the, they made my hand cramp so bad because drawing all those itty bitty leaves and try and doing all those tiny little motions to draw the and color in and give the illusion of leaves and depth and all that it's it's difficult with a normal sized pencil let alone one that's barely an inch and a half long And the chartreuse color here is not much better than the black. And so now I can move on to the to that wide part of the pier and not have to worry about my foreground because it's already done. So on camera, I only did one side of the pier, and then I snap my fingers and it's done. If only it was that easy. Um, so here I took um, my pan pastels and drew in the, the clouds and the water, which pan pastels are great. It's the easiest way on planet Earth to do backgrounds on colored pencil drawings. And then here I just sign it and decide it wasn't dark enough so I had to go back over it again. <laughs> and just like that I am finished with this 
colored pencil and pen pastel drawing of a pier. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!